Hines. Thank you very much, uh, Madam Deputy Speaker. And this is, of course, the eventuality that we all had hoped to evolve. And I personally hate even contemplating uh, curtailment of freedoms in the way that our right honourable friend for Altrincham and Sale West set out. But no responsible government could sidestep what it is faced with. We, we use this word a lot now in the last few days, the overwhelming of the National Health Service. It is worth just stopping to dwell and think about what that actually means in practice, as our friend from South West Bedfordshire uh, outlined. It means people who need other essential treatments, just not being able to get them in the way that we have come to expect we will always be able to rely uh, on the National uh, Health Service. And of course, this time, uh, unlike the previous uh, lockdown, we are approaching winter with all the stresses and strains on the National Health Service that brings in any case. This is a global pandemic, but quite often we speak about it as if we were the only country involved. In fact, every one of the five major countries of Western Europe had a steep rise uh, in COVID cases during the course of October, and now there are new restrictions coming across the continent. Perhaps most notably in France and Germany, the other two large economies of Europe, with very different political traditions, different health systems, different experiences with test and trace. Both of those, like us, sought to exhaust the possibilities of a, a localised and a regional approach and now are returning once again to a national uh, programme. It is true that in different parts of our country there are different rates of prevalence of this virus. But, this, but the trend is upwards pretty much everywhere with the rate above one. Uh, and as the Prime Minister outlined earlier, of course, you know, when one hospital gets full, they move patients on to another hospital. Staff have to move on uh, in order to, to, to shore up the system. Ultimately, we are one nation and we have one national health service. Now, this lockdown is not going to be the same uh, as, the, as the previous one in particular uh, because education will remain fully open. And I really want to uh, thank the government uh, and welcome that, uh, welcome that approach. And I acknowledge that to prioritise schooling, that does involve some trade-offs. Uh, and, and therefore, you do have to, you have to acknowledge that any time that, that people get together, there is a risk of transmission of this virus. But I would ask for special reconsideration in two areas. One is about non-contact outdoor sports, and the second is so many... Uh, colleagues, uh, others have mentioned, is about religious services. So obviously not everyone has faith, but for some that do, the solace that they receive from attending church or another place of worship with other people is as important for their mental health as other mental health services, which we rightly prioritise and will keep going come what may. I welcome the business support and I hope government will also use this time to make sure there are medium term uh, support packages for the most affected sectors. Nobody wants to be doing this, but I will be backing these measures this evening.